joy tactics. What? What's happening? Mm-hmm. Jack, do you know what what this topic is about? <laughs> you Save said the podcast. This is the, the we are podcasting, bro. This is podcast. recording. We, we're podcasting. Oh, we're recording right now. What the oh, hell do shit. you think is going on? Now I'm eating a fucking insane. pancake right now. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. We're back at it again, man. Another <laughs> flawless launch. Are you kidding me? Well, sorry about mm. that. God, this is the worst. I was just saying I can't even get over it. This. this is the worst. I, I'm currently eating the driest pancake. Kodiak hey, pancake Nate. on the planet. It has three eggs in Jesus it. Maybe Christ. that has three eggs. I think one egg is the recommended mixture. Um, I put a bunch of butter on it and honey, and it's not what are helping you training the sweetness, for, the flavor. What are you training um, for? You got to. Well, got the Kirkland purified. You got the microplastic fucking delivery <laughs> system on, on deck. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. I can't talk though because I'm bringing my Nalgene in the sauna, <clears throat> which cannot be good. Oh, that it's is heating up the plastic. That's and life ending. Put right in the esophagus. I'm seeing your life dwindle by the second every if day. If by dwindle you mean grow in prosperity and health and wealth as well. <laughs> and no, friends. That's not what I mean. I don't, I'm not telling you guys about all the friends I've been making lately <laughs> on purpose to not make you jealous. <laughs> it's a hard one to follow because of all the negatives, Eric, but I believe it. Right. I know I made it a but little back confusing. back to the question when I didn't realize we had started the podcast, but Jack, do you know what a Dyson Sphere is? Maybe this song will help you. This is a good song by a, a band called The Golden Dawn. Well, what if the answer is yes? You don't even know. Are you guys liking this music? Yeah. Uh, yes, I like Jimmy Neutron intro. Like <laughs> Jimmy Neutron intro song. You like that? You guys, what the fuck is going on, man? I just want to know. You guys said we're talking about the Dyson Basically, Sphere. The I don't know what that is. Song, the chorus of this right song now. is called Let's Build a Dyson Sphere. It's by a band called The Golden Dawn. And I can't even find the original version of it anymore. It's just this. What the fucking version. hell is a Dyson Sphere, this man? Is I'm energy. freaking the Chill. fuck out. This Stop is an Chill. energy harnessing system that could. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Oh, it started playing a New Jabe a New Jabe style. Music. I'm googling it. Fuck this. It's an energy harnessing system that You're we not, could Jack. I searched fashion Dyson. around our sun. Die. That could deliver endless energy to people around the world and even a galaxy. So it's a hypothetical megastructure. You're saying it's a hypothetical megastructure that encompasses yeah, a star, hypothetical. And captures oh. For now, for now, it's hypothetical. For now, it's hypothetical. Sure. sure. You're talking mm-hmm. about the atomical uh, energy biter. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, yeah, essentially, it is biting energy. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about the solar the solar mines, the soul mines, like the coal mines. You're talking about solar power, solar powered. Uh, well, in a sense, right? sure, yeah. Yeah. And why are you both thinking about that? Because you both seem to be like really on it. Like, let's talk about. Well, the because sphere. basically it's an idea as a, as had as a child. And then I read it in a crazy, you know, uh, article, essentially probably a BuzzFeed article in about 2015. And I thought they stole my fucking idea from childhood <laughs> to put an energy system. But your idea was sun. like a plug in the sun. And there's like a gigantic <laughs> cord, like cord that's... <laughs> Yeah, the longest cord on the on the galaxy. Why don't we put a hamster on a wheel and then throw that at the sun, and then the hamster is gonna be its feet are gonna be so fucking hot that it's gonna be <laughs> skipping you, along. There's, like a, bro. After you worked on the hamster game show, I don't think you can't. You don't have any room to be abusing and making fun of hamsters anymore. We trust all me, know. trust <laughs> me, Eric. Know. The humans were abused much more than the hamsters. <laughs> much more. <laughs> uh, no, I know. I know. The tell one day the tell all will come out. I know. Can you imagine? <clears throat> really, what this is about is more than a Dyson sphere, but it's about the concept of endless energy and what we could right. do with something like that. Jack, Jack, you have a question. Please. Yeah, I raised my hand, and my question is. Endless energy, you say. Mm-hmm. Doesn't all That's stars right. have a life expectancy? That is a good point. 
<laughs> you both are drinking uh, a lot today. I mean, I <laughs> I'm thirsty, bro. I just took the smallest bite of a pancake, just this much, and it's like completely. I can't even couldn't even talk. <laughs> Jesus fucking Damn. Christ, man. Um, um, yes, good point, Jack. The a star does run out of energy, so I think relatively I don't think that the clinic, the clinical sort of scientific terminology, they would they would <laughs> um, use the word infinite there. Maybe it's like to a degree infinite. Um, but yeah, I get. Well, I don't think infinity does really exist in terms of energy. You know what I'm saying? It does and it doesn't at the same time because that energy is transferred into a black hole. Now, if you have a Dyson sphere, a black hole Dyson sphere, which I'm sure that that will be future civilizations. Well, have that's anti-energy, which that. is something we can't even really legally talk about. <laughs> right, right. Man, this is one of the hardest episodes for me to follow along to <laughs> that we've done in a minute. <laughs> I really wanted to get back to a really difficult topic, you know, and something that we can't the fully Dyson understand. Sphere. So who has, is this something that's in sci-fi or is this something that's more popular in the world of physics, Newtonian physics? Who's, who's playing with what professionals are playing with this concept from the back? Well, it, it is a common concept in science fiction. I believe it's in okay. Star Trek and, okay. um, this ties back into aliens, but it right. was the idea was proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960 as a thought experiment, which is something that we're very familiar with thought experiments <laughs> about how a highly advanced civilization might meet its energy needs. <clears throat> Can we please come up in, just put into place the Joy Tactics Thought Experiment Institute for ideas and technology? <laughs> Can we right. please get that? Can we get just one warehouse and just have mm -hmm. a sign out front that says that and have a bunch of beautiful men and women mm -hmm. up in there all day long? And and basically the rule to the requirement for entry is you have to make a meaningful sacrifice in front of us. <laughs> that can take that as you will, but if you don't meet mm -hmm. our requirements, you're the not first, in. The first, so, I like it's his mom's throat. <laughs> the fucking mom. Like, Damn, yo, 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 yo. Right, come he's in, in, come in, 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 he's in, he's in, he's in. So you're hey, serious hey. about this. You probably have some crazy ideas. We're calling the EMT. Yeah, we're calling the, the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Quick, 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 quick. Close the door, close the door. You're yeah. <laughs> Damn. And we guess what? The, the three of us would probably have to live there then. Of course. We'd have to be monitoring and, and keeping the guardrails on because who knows what fucking could happen in this. I'm in this like, yeah. You know, it could get dark, you know, are you guys prepared to throw away the rest of your lives? Cause I am kind of feeling like, you know what? What life? I got it. All right. <laughs> Dude, you call this a life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Jack? I can't remember. I don't know. Probably something about the, this warehouse. No way. Well, well I want to, yeah. So you asked, like, are you, do you guys just want to, like, a, a, like throw away your life and start over with something else? Is that what you're kind of getting at? No, I'm just saying in terms of, like, doing a living like a monk in this Joy Tactics Ideas Center for Human Ants. All experiments. Yeah. For technology and, <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was an innovation. I'm just saying if the three of us were like, you know what? No more friends, no more family, no more mm -hmm. nothing, no more, you know, we're not even going to work. We're going to live off of, uh, you know, some type of donation system. Uh, and we'll just be kind of living in the monastery of the mind. Doesn't wow. sound so bad to me, man. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. I would By the way, Eric guys. is blackout drunk right now. I had an engagement. <laughs> I had a lunch engagement <laughs> that I had to make. And yeah, we fucking hit some cocktails. Yeah, we discussed business. Yeah, we signed some NDAs. But I'm still here doing this for you guys because I know you guys need the money for this damn podcast. So I show up. <laughs> <laughs> Eric week. is paying. Just so you guys know, Eric is paying. <laughs> Uh, about 180 grand right now to go to go uh, <laughs> anesthesiologist under be put under to black out his legs with tattoo so he has completely oh, yeah but it's just, <laughs> i mean it is technically but it's gonna be a lot of dark ink but there will it's be it's a cover-up eric got the maori maori, maori tattoos and he's <laughs> it's for a movie man 
It's you don't for, have to do it permanent for movies, you know. I know. I know but I knew Dwayne it. Johnson might be more interested in distributing the film if I went full. Right. <laughs> if I went full hard. True, on true, it. true. Dwayne the the fake ass bitch Johnson, as I call him. Dwayne the sexy ass, fake ass fucking bitch ass. Fake fucking, ass bitch ass rock. Uh, amazing ass, ass rock. rock. Whoa. Now slow down there, horsey. That was only but a teaser. Just a little taste of what I can only assume is one of the most fire podcast episodes ever recorded. Head over to patreon.com slash joytactics now to unlock this crazy ass fucking episode while simultaneously getting in at the ground floor of an exclusive community of like-minded individuals using positivity to change the world. Cheers.